Okay, so let's go ahead and work a little bit more materials. I do like how it's a gray natural look, but I want to add some grass type greenish point to this. So for this, I'm going to add some surface layers and work on a color. So we'll go to add, go to the shader, surface shader, and I'm going to just use surface layer. Okay, we have right here one. Okay, this surface share um, layer I'm going to connect. So I'm just let's go ahead from base colors, input node, just place it between. Okay, next we'll go open and enable this color. You notice this color is covering everything except the snow where we have it and fake stones. So right here, these layers, they're kind of going above. So we'll go to fix, uh, work on this. One, I want to have it properly positioned. Altitude, I will go to set minimum altitude and let's go set maybe 2620. See, yeah, I think it's about right. And it will just pop up smoothness. You know, maybe even 600 will work even better in this case. Don't so they won't go that high. Okay, next, what I want to do it is also apply to the slope altitude as well. And for this maximum slope, we'll go bring maybe like 35. Just so we have it a little bit nicer on the, some smoother slopes. I think this will look good. Um, of course, the next I want to work on a carriage. And if you have questions about how all this properties, what they all mean. I do recommend watch previous tutorials because we cover all these functions there and we're kind of going step by step to have it bigger and more in uh, all tutorials. So I'm going to set break up, make a more patchy look and I will go switch this to the kind of darker green grass. Okay, so right here we have it, these patches of the grass the next I want to add more to this grass kind of more effect I'm going to select this two copy paste them and I'll go select this as a child layer okay now in this I'll leave it all this altitude everything same because a child one effect except take color and make it a little bit brighter yellowish and a break up bring maybe closer this way what is happening remember this is break up will mix this color my child and uh, child and the surface so it will create this interesting variations look more realistically so let's go ahead and preview and you can see right here we have it a nice um patchy grass going so it's kind of you know maybe pop up a little bit on the angles right here to add more i think this will work better so to do this we'll just go inside this layer slope and just bring a little bit more so it's cover more right here on a slope okay and let's go bring this coverage better cover okay as well right here just add kind of more interesting details Okay, I think this is look nice. So next, what I want to do, it's add to this area grass, and I want to place it grass just patch right here up front of the camera. So to do this, I'm going to object, add object from library, and I have it right here some. Um, plants that from Xfrog and this is a free sample plants so you can download it from the website so what I'm going to do it's just use this rye grass and we have a different variations so I'm just going to use the one and import as population you know so right here we have it, my population and it's showing position one thing I want to do it's take this and move close to the camera and shrink it so you notice it's um, 
1000 so I will say 500 and we'll say this may be about let's say 300 for this okay and um, let's bring it closer so we'll set minus 400 so just right around where the rocks like hit it you know maybe minus 450 so to bring a little bit closer under camera Okay, we'll go to move to this object. We can populate make smoother density by applying special filters, and we'll see if we if it's need to do this. Right now, I want to um, go ahead and apply some population to this. So we can click and populate now. You can see the area we're covering, and this area may be a little bit too wide, so I can go reduce from 500 to 400 but I want them go down so we'll look a little bit nicer this way I think that is good uh, let's bring them closer so maybe 0.8 on both okay and as well next what I want to do beside the density it's a size it's look to me a little bit too small so there's my camera and I can take bring a little bit closer like this, maybe you know, just a reposition. Kind of some we have that. But I think they're a little bit too small. So I'm going kind of scale and minimum and maximum. So I'll say minimum two and maximum maybe four. So let's see populate different and I think we can preview and render see how well they're going I can bring camera a little bit more closer down so we won't have it so small detail okay so we have a very nice beautiful population let's go enable water I just want to see um, ways we will come how it's covered because I maybe need even reduce on this one so we'll go inside the object right here and let's go maybe even set one one population so I have it a little bit less let's render with a uh, water enable yeah so it's look good with uh, water of course I need the rework it's too high waves mm, um, but I do like a reflection from mountain I think it's come very close you know what maybe even bring camera just a bit closer see how that will bring plans but uh, right here look a little bit more natural again we can always um going and add another one variation and to do this of course we can go just to um from library we can select another plant import population and right here we can also just going remove something there left over okay we can take population and actually control them okay, right here by copying from first one or copy from this one to second one so 450 okay we can go 400 300 minus 450 so kind of very similar except right here probably will do maybe two and two okay and right here two and two so we have it populations and we'll go inside this one and have it scale two and four so we'll populate this one and we'll populate another so it just create kind of mix between two of them will look a little bit better that way uh, so let's go ahead and next uh, portion of tutorial we'll go and can add some of the trees on the back